All right, Finn fans, week two, prime time, Thursday night, division rival. I'm not going to talk so much about what everybody wants to talk about. Um, I'll just say quickly, you know, prayers to Tua and his family. Regardless of what you think about the guy as a quarterback, everything that you see outside of that, he really is just an unbelievably great guy, um, a good person, right? So let's put football aside for a minute and just, uh, you know, hope the man's okay. Uh, I, I'm not going to go into it. It's funny. I watched a video with McDaniel earlier being asked in a press conference, and, and it hit me in heart, I guess, because I, I'm not going to talk about whether I think he should play again because, you know, uh, there, there's no reason to do that. Everybody wants to spout on it. At the end of the day, it's not about his decision. Let's just hope that him and his family make the right call and that that man's going to be okay for the future for his wife and his kids. That being said, let's get to the game, man. Uh, Buffalo dominated. Buffalo dominated in the sense that, like, they came out ready to dominate. They came out ready to play. Um, from the very beginning, they were set up. And they were just moving harder, moving faster. The Dolphins look sort of dead. Um, you know, I, I don't understand Mike McDaniel. And we'll get further into that again. But, like, I, I, don't, I don't get it. We were without Raheem Mostert, so you're without your first running back. And you called more run plays in the first half than you did the entire Jacksonville game. And you did it, I mean, not as successfully. I mean, some of it was with motion and all the Mike McDaniel genius stuff. But, you know, the other stuff didn't make a lot of sense. We ended the game with 32 carries uh, for 132 yards or 39 yards. Not good. But 22 of those carries went to Devon Achan. I, I, I mean, I, I like the guy. He's great. But how many times on third and two, fourth and one, the hardest runner on the team, even when Mostert's playing, is Jeff Wilson Jr., and that guy didn't get a carry the entire game. The troubling part for me is this. Buffalo had a game plan, and their biggest part was they had big corners, and they got up in Tyreek and Jalen, and they banged them. And they banged them, and they threw the timing off, right? So, so Miami's offense is built on timing, and that's gone. And we could not adjust. If the adjustment to them stopping the receivers in a timing – is to run the ball 32 times unsuccessfully behind a third string left guard and a second string right tackle. Not a good one. So awful game, awful exposure. We'll see where we go from here. I will say this. Uh, Miami should start making contingency plans just in case. I like Skylar Thompson, but he can't be the only guy uh, that you got back there. You ask me, RT17. Let's see a reunion, man. Let's see a reunion. Let's bring Tannehill home to finish this story. That's just one man's thoughts. Good luck. We'll see you next week. Fins up.